Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Game of Thrones. This is the beginning of episode four. So I think in this episode what's going to happen is, I guess the game's coming to a close really. Um, the finale is the next episode. So I think we're going to try and get our army together with Daenerys. Hopefully that can happen. Mira, I have no clue what's going to happen. I think she's either gonna have to choose to trust Sara or not and um, Tuttle we'll have to wait and see what happens on the wall but let's hop straight in to episode four previously on Game of Thrones my father is planning to make a move against your family he knows all your weaknesses all your plans because you have a traitor in your council he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing we were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Master! Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. So there are a lot of storylines going on and I know it can get pretty confusing. Oh no, they actually found the body. I think maybe we should have thrown him, in, thrown him over the edge. At least then it maybe would have looked like suicide or something like that. Or he would have just like disappeared off the face of the earth. They're gonna wanna kill us so badly. Oh snap, we're so screwed. They knew that we had beef as well. Oh, Garrett. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? 
Garrett's telling the truth. Britt attacked him. Just like he said. Oh. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There oh my god, what a sweetie. He wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. We're running away Some together. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... Vin's just being a good brother. I think. You can't watch a man die and just... I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. Oh, man. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. <laughs> Gary. <gasps> you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. He attacked but us! I, I thought you were smarter than that, Gary. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrod. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this? Any different. God be with you, Garrett. Oh, We're cheers, down John. So keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Episode four: Sons of Winter. Do do do. What's gonna happen? We're not gonna get our head chopped off, don't worry. We're gonna be much more prepared. Trust me. Right, is yeah, this is Daenerys. So we're back with, I always forget this dude's name. The older brother, Asher. Yeah, Asher, that's his name. Do you name. know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. We're not that desperate. Every one of them. Well, we're and not. I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. That sounded like a dragon. Oh, shit. Whoa. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Oh, my God. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. I'm still getting used to it, that's all. I'm sure that's it. Would you like to touch him? No! No! Unless you are afraid. No, I'm all right. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Uh, leave him be. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you will rise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Yes. Give me a reason to believe you. Um, I, told you I saw I've him. I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this. Oh! No, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? Nothing! You've hurt him. Hurt we him. haven't. He attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. <laughs> the men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. 
Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Yeah, be quiet, Beshka. <laughs> You're gonna get us into shit. Why did you come here? For an you army. For me, nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? No, I just My want an army. Undying gratitude. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. Oh, go away, dragon. As Jeez. we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. Shoot, we really need this deal. Oh my God, no! What what do we have you left to offer? That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you! You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. We didn't I even said defeat I survived. it. survived. Nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She oh. can help guide us. What the hell? Dude! Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> she has unfinished business. That's never good in Game of Thrones. Ever. Oh, why did you, so you say that? Them. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. Oh, come on, Beshka. Do I it for a bro. Better. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Oh, of course he gets the easy ride. Or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Well, at least we have some form of a deal, I guess. This means we're going to get some form of an army, even if Beshka hates us for it. What the fuck happened back there? It wasn't us. We're really going into Marine. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Beshka, get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> oh, she's really... I liked her at first, but she's doing my head in at Long the minute. Time since we had a piss bucket. <laughs> I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asha. I'll try not to. There's a dog barking on my street right now. And I feel like I'm going to punch it in the face if it doesn't shut up. Because it's so yappy. Beshka's really annoying me. Like, I know she has business here, but come on. Like, we're your bro. We need serious help. Oh, poor Roderick. Trying to get back on his feet. Ah! Oh. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You're just you shit. <laughs> next time. You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. 
I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. He's a good fighter, this guy. Come at me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> okay. We'll come at you. Bring it. Ooh. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. I can do this. E oh, shh. Whoops. I thought it was going to be Q. Just try it again. try it again. Yeah. I'm ready this time. Nice. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> oh. Poor Roderick. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on Why seeing is she you immediately. Back? Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Ooh, Elena. shade! Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. Oh, is she going to go back on her word? Does she want to marry us now, all of a sudden? You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us. Eyebrow game strong, Quiver. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Even how we left things. That... that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Shoot. Blood threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick. Griff sits in my great hall and acts like the king of bloody Westeros. You can't marry him. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. So what do we do? We have to get rid of him. Oh God, why that? I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griff is horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. Who? Ah, oh, hell yeah! That's what I like to see! Yes, boys. Your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. That's what I like to hear, Arthur. If you'll help us take down Griff. Hell yes, do oh, it. Sign me the fuck up. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. The White Hills still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Why is this game so Please, difficult? promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'll Screw do it. it. If it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. 
Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? I'm gonna regret this, but I'm like, what can this game do to me? Like, Telltale games don't differ too much, so... You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could... Ah! Uh, hide and seek in the grove again. <gasps> Cheeky! Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. JK. <gasps> uh, say farewell. We should go. Yes. <laughs> You're right. Arthur will be waiting for us. I prefer the other girl over her, so I ain't gonna kiss her. <laughs> the other girl's cooler. <laughs> she actually had our back from the start, whereas Elena just uses us to get her own gain, which I do not like, and I'm sure he doesn't either. But I think I'm going to end this part here, guys, just because I need to pre-record quite a lot. Sorry that it was quite short, but I hope you guys like this part anyway. It was a pretty good introduction to episode four, and we will hop straight back into it in the next part. So I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how you feel how this episode is going to go. Please, no spoilers. I have avoided them thus far and would really like to avoid them still so please don't leave any spoilers just let me know how you feel about the game and stuff like that thank you all so much for watching and i will speak to you all in my next video bye guys